Well, good morning, Hershey Free. Uh, my name is Dave Hyatt. I'm the missions pastor at Hershey Free, uh, and I am with my friend and colleague, Wadishran Jean Baptiste uh, Wawa. He's the president of Step Seminary in Haiti, where we have had a partnership for about the last 10 years. And uh, the Wawa and some of his uh, other colleagues are with us here in Hershey this week. So we wanted to just hear about how things are going in Haiti and just uh, let you know as a congregation about our partnership. So uh, Wawa, would you please tell us a little bit about uh, the, the, the vision of Step Seminary, the mission of Step Seminary? Good morning, Dave. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be here. Well, Dave, the uh, mission of Step Seminary is to prepare Haitian leaders to make disciples of Christ, to transform their communities to the glory of God. So this is what we've been about. Yeah, and you guys have done a, a fantastic job of staying mission focused uh, over the years as we've gotten to know you. And I've deeply appreciated that in really, really hard context. But you take a um, what I think is a wonderful and biblical approach to making disciples. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you mean by you say you want to make disciples? Well, uh, STEP Seminary as a theological institution had been focusing more on uh, knowledge, transferring on academic excellence for a long period of time, which is necessary because uh, leaders to be involved in ministry and do it well, you have to know your stuff. You have to be well-trained academically. However, at some point we discovered, that was a little bit after the earthquake, we discovered that there was something still missing. It's because we discover when Jesus wanted to disciple, he developed relationships with those he chose to uh, get them involved in his life. And I experienced that also myself. So we, we become very intentional about disciple making since. And that's how we have been doing the ministry right now, focusing both on knowledge but also on relationships for disciple making. Can you tell us how things have changed around that beautiful 30 acre campus um, recently with the rise in, in gang violence? Well, Dave, you've said it, we've been on this campus for a long period of time and everything the seminary has been doing had been done on the campus and around the campus for all those times. However, in November 2020, we had to stop operations on campus and go somewhere else because gangs decided to take over the, the campus. Uh, unfortunately, our government has been bad. And because of the approach they have, the gangs have become very strong and they can do whatever uh, they want right now without anybody questioning them. So when they start, started taking over the campus and the activities they were having, we had to move off campus to do, uh, to continue to operate somewhere else. And we've been at a church on the other side of town since. And um, recently we heard that they are not even operating on campus, stealing cars, kidnapping people to bring to campus and hide them there. But also they are entering houses on campus right now and gangs have been living in two of the houses on campus, which makes it very difficult. A few of us went there to witness that and it, we came out with heavy heart to see how the gangs are gaining ground. And there is no question uh, being asked by the government, by the police, even when we try, nothing happened. Uh, but that's, that's something very difficult for us. However, we see God at work creating a different reality for us giving us strength to continue to push. And we actually graduated a group of students on May 13th. And you guys have done a fantastic job. The, the campus is a great asset, but, um, and I, I recently saw you guys went back on campus for a praise and worship time with gangs, with guns to, and they, um, yeah, just to, to reassert that this is God's, this is God's property um, that he's um, given, given us, given you for, for making disciples. And we pray that, that very soon um, it will be restored for its proper purpose and, and the community blessed. You've built houses and started churches and 
had medical clinics and food and schools for kids in the area. So um, we'll continue to pray that, that God does that. Um, That's our hope. Happens. Amen. Well, brother, I also wanted to ask you if, you know, the American church has had a time of, of difficulty and divisiveness with COVID and politics and, and so many things going on now. We haven't seen nearly the, the difficulties that the Haitian church has, and yet I, I haven't been I haven't been impressed with how we've responded. So from a brother who's um, seen and led in a, in a much more difficult context, what uh, words of encouragement and advice or exhortation would you give to, to us as your American partners? When life is hard, we human beings have a tendency to believe that God has given up. Hmm. Uh, whether he has given up on us or on the things that we are involved in, especially in his kingdom that he's not aware, he doesn't know what's going on and he's not addressing it. And sometimes people even think that God is out of town. He, he went on vacation, uh, but God is always on his throne, addressing the issues and planning to address because God has his own schedule his own timetable. And uh, during this uh, hard period that Step Seminary and Haitians, uh, in all Haitians in Haiti are uh, experiencing, we, we read, especially the Psalms. And recently I read the book of Ruth that, that happened in the period of, of Judges when it was complete chaos in Israel. I read that and we see the same thing, that God is always on his throne and he is even blessing those who continue to trust him. In Psalm 94, the author thought that God was not aware. He thought that God was not uh, doing anything regarding the situation they were in. He tried to wake God up. He thought God was even sleeping, but God responded to say, I created the eyes, I see. I created the ears, I hear. I created the mind, I understand. And I have a time set to address it and I will do it well. This is what we learn. We learn that our God is on it. He's not giving up and he is going to address it when the time comes. And so uh, that are our three prayer requests. One is for peace in Haiti as a whole. The second is for Step Seminary to remain focused on God and on the mission. And the third for resources to be mobilized so that we can develop that satellite campus to continue to work uh, both there and also to return on the main campus when the time comes. Well, brother, I sincerely, it's been a privilege to partner with you, to be in, encouraged um, by your faithfulness in, in Haiti and um, training leaders who are going around the world. So, so thank you, my friend. Good, it'll be fun to be with you this week. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Dave, and we praise God for that. Amen. Thank you, brother.